Today, folks, Schnibb is back out in the shop. Uh, we're going to tackle the front brakes on a 2012 Buick Verano here. Uh, the pads themselves are about half worn. The inner is a little bit worse, which, you know, you can almost consider the slide pins are probably the problem. And the front of the rotor is screwed a little bit, but I would call that one passable. The inside, uh, it, there's some jagged steel going on here, so... You can't really see it because of the backing plate, but once we get this caliper off, we're going to have a real good look. Stick around. Okay, folks, first thing, you can see the bolt right there. 10 millimeter, those are your pins. They take your caliper off. There are the first guys we're going to hit. One there and one up there. Okay, then we got these big guys in the back. Right there, you can see that one. I think they're 21s, and then the other one farther down. They take off the bracket that holds the caliper which you need to do if you're taking your rotors off. Make life easier, you can turn your wheel out. It gets a little easier access to the bolts. Okay, just a tiny little bolt to hold your caliper on. And the top. Sometimes these can be rusted in a bit. Make them that real easy. Yeah, quite a bit difference in the pads here. You can see there, the inner pad is about 30-40% uh, less than the outer. So that's never a good thing. Alright, once you got those out, you break the pads themselves. You fly out. Not too bad. A little bit of a groove at the edge, which is common because that's where the rust tends to accumulate up here. I mean, that pad is fine. You could technically reuse that. And the inner, it's not the pad, because the pad's moving along just fine. So you can see, really big deep groove on the inside, and some pretty sharp ones out here on the outside. Alright, you can see there's the inside of the rotor. You can see the outside part is not doing anything, and neither is the inside. So you got maybe 20% of that inside of that rotor is actually working. You're going to have a pretty soft pedal. And one thing you don't got to worry about is overheating your brakes, because there ain't enough friction there to do that. Okay, we got the hub cleaned up, most of the rust off of there, colored it with anti-seize so the next guys don't have to beat it off with a hammer here. There you go. Okay, caliper bracket. Took off the old slides, cleaned it behind them with a wire wheel. If you live up here in the rust belt, that is a crucial step. All right, rust will get in behind these, start to push them up. And it kind of pinches your pads in and they can't when you press your brakes the pads go on but when you let them go it, they don't want to come back off uh, other thing we did here is the pins we took them apart cleaned them clean the grease that's inside here you lot you'll get old dried up greases really thick and hard wd-40 or any kind of penetrating oil and clean out the old grease don't put too much grease on you just want a light coat that pin has to be able to go in all the way. If it can't go in all the way because there's too much grease, then you have a problem. Your caliper bracket. Now you can put that back on. I already uh, put anti-seize on the threads, so the next poor guy that's got to take this off doesn't have to smash them with a hammer. Okay, now we'll put on some brake pads. Remember that you have two different brake pads. You have an inner and an outer. The inner has a little wear indicator tab on it. And the outer, on this case, has these two little pieces here that stick out. You can see these little horns that this one doesn't. And there's like little pins on them. Okay, let's get these guys put on. Push against the spring a bit. There you go. Okay, got to push the uh, piston back. I just use one of the old pads, and I got the tool here. But you can use vice grips or a C-clamp. Just about anything will work. You just turn it back. So your piston goes back enough to clear the uh, all that new brake material. Once you got that, make sure your brake line's not all twisted. on just like so 
Empty seeds on the little bolts. Let's tighten them up. Okay, just a pointer here. Sometimes after you lubricate these pins, or even when you're taking them out, the pin will spin with the bolt. There is a wrench end right there where you can just jam a wrench on and hold it while you spin the bolt out. Okay, folks, there's your front brake rotors and pads on a 2012 Buick Verano. Hopefully, if you're taking this job on or you want to be a little more prepared before you take yours apart, I've given you a little bit of info and advice on how to do it right. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.